If you go to her Instagram page and her little story highlights, have her visiting every other country around the globe, every beach, every city, keep it moving. She has more travel miles than Christopher Columbus. You think she's settling down with you? And the saddest part is, they be the coolest ones to talk to because they're so well-traveled. They got stories about every place, they've been to every restaurant, every club, every bar. I will say this though, stay in contact with a couple of them for some food recommendations. They know the best spots. You have to peep game. When she's posting a picture of her food, look what's on that plate. You know how much that dinner costs? Not to mention, she probably got drinks and dessert but it's not like she's paying for it. As soon as I click on her page and I see the stories divided into each location, good game, you got it, you got it. Cause I'm looking at the dates. How did you go on 16 vacations in a year? Where is home? The Vikings didn't even travel that much and they were nomads, but I don't ask questions. That's not my place, I stay in my place. The one thing I will say is this, Hey, let me know if you're ever in my city, okay? If your world tour happens to stop by my city, hit me up, I'll show you around. Hey, look, sometimes y'all really got to use logical thinking and use common sense because you really have to think about it, bro. A woman that makes a lot of money who can't afford to take all of these trips, right, doesn't have the time to take those trips, right? So the, really the only women who are taking these trips are the low-income women who are letting men finance them. Because he said 16 trips in one calendar year, bro. That's more than one out-of-the-country trip a month. That is not even feasible for a person who has a job. A high-earning job, too. Because think about all of the jobs that pay a lot of money. It actually does require you to be there a lot of times. Let's be real. And if you say you're a business owner, I highly doubt that you didn't got your business to the point where it's so automated that you can just travel the world as much as you want without uh having to be there to put out fires here and there i'm sorry man listen most of the businesses that people are running today when they say they're these business owners they're usually one-man operations they don't have no payroll they don't have nothing going on it's not a big business so what i'm saying is they have to be there for it to operate so just use your mind bro they are basically going on these trips with random dudes and finessing them that's all it is and i'm starting to see why women say a lot of these men be childish I'm looking at one of my partners' uh, IG story the other day. Mind you, my all my partners like thirty and up. They big gonna say, "Can we fuck and still be friends?" Bro, you're thirty two. Why are you posting like this? If he was twenty two with a man, you know what I'm saying? Would have been cool, little funny shit. You know what I'm saying? Where you hell? But you're thirty. Where's your family? Where's your kids? Where's your wife, bro? I just it's just certain shit I shouldn't be seeing from a 30-year-old, bro. Can we fuck and still be friends? <sighs> We're doomed, man. We're doomed. We ain't gonna have no uncles. <laughs> the uncles out here asking dumbass questions. <laughs> Can we fuck and still be friends? Not real talk. Now, listen, I'm a little childish myself, man. If you follow me on Instagram, I post some bullshit, but it's never nothing sexual. It's never that. Like, a lot of dudes and women, I look at like they're crazy. That's my age asking dumbass questions like that. I got to be 100% uh, truthful and honest with y'all. You know, bro, we in our 30s. Like, bro, come on. Why is you everything sexual on your post? And I look at women like they trying to give you something that you can't get rid of every time I look at they posting it's something sexual. Something off about a woman that's always posting sexual shit. And what what is your problem? I want to study your past. I want to know what happened to you as a child. Like, because mm -mm, that don't make no sense. Who the, who is, who the fuck are you? Excuse me. It's none of your concern. You don't have the right to ask me where I've been. You don't have the right to know what I was doing. You messed up and I took a break. And guess what? The next time you mess up, I'm going to take another break. Hey, bro. A lot of them women will sit up there and play with you in your face. Ma'am, you saw that DM a year ago, and now you won't respond on your birthday? I'm not hitting you cash app. Straight up, man. Y'all tripping. Fellas, y'all stop getting finessed. Y'all be so... Guys, I know y'all be like, well, you're beating a dead horse, but dog, some of these young men don't know no better. I got to tell it. Every day I get new people coming to see this and has never heard me say these things. Y'all got to keep that in mind. Angry hey, be because I refuse to adopt her kids. Be safe. All this is because I won't do some type of adoption. I see you keep praising all these men that do adoption. 
I'm not doing adoption so you can take all my money. I'm not doing that. No, they ain't. He don't do shit. No, he don't do nothing. And that's why you mad. That's why you mad. No. Bro, I don't give a damn how much you love those kids, man. Never adopt them. Shit, you done lost your damn mind. First of all, there's no upside to it. And you signing up for something that you should be able to walk away from if the shit goes left. But once you adopt them, you done signed over some legal rights that now you are responsible for. And you can't walk away from that as far as I know. Maybe you can in some states, some cities. But as far as I know... You just told them people that you are permanently putting your neck on the line for them kids, and it is what it is. I ain't tripping. I know I ain't tripping. Now, I just got out the shower, and I swear to you, I just had $100 on my dresser. The only person that stayed here is me and my girl. And I hope she ain't stealing from me, because if she's stealing from me, she'll be out today. I swear to God, I was in the shower. I literally just got out the shower. I know I didn't bring it in the shower with me. I know I know I ain't bring it in the shower with me. I didn't put it nowhere by the sink. And I come back here and address it, and my hundred dollars is gone. And she downstairs just watching TV. All people in the house is me and her, and my hundred dollars is gone. Like all right, and she's I hope she don't steal from me. She don't come today. Better move in my house. Too much. Shout out to her. What? Uh, you you, you seen the hundred dollars on that was on my dresser? It, I, I got in the shower. Before I got in the shower, it was $100 on the dresser. I get out the shower, and my $100 is gone. You sure? Because don't nobody else live here but us, and my $100 is gone. You must be a ghost in this something. Are you sure? You can't keep me and steal my hundred dollars from me. Are you sure? I'm going to go check one more time. I'm going to keep my hundred dollars. I'm going to keep my hundred dollars. I'm going to check one more time. I'm not accusing you of nothing. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. This is what I'm trying to do. Because I just got out the shower, and my hundred dollars just disappeared. Like, I don't know. Dude, I don't know what the f is going on. Check one more time, because I, I know I had it right here on the dresser when I got in the shower. I get out the shower and the shit gone. You know what? I'll let you move my Shut up. I'm gonna hurt you again. Do you know what my hundred dollars is? Because my hundred dollars is missing. What do you mean I keep coming out and yelling your name? Where where is that? You got my hundred dollars? Nah, you can't trust no woman who steals money from you, dog. Because what else she's stealing? <laughs> what else is she doing behind closed doors, man? That's a character flaw right there. Because guess what? If she need the money, why don't you just ask your man for it? Babe? Is it okay if I take this $100 real quick? Is it okay? Yeah, get his permission first, man. Because you going to know what type of dude you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a dude that got a lot of money and he leaves money laying around and he's already established. Look, babe, if you see it, just go ahead and take it. You find some money while you washing my clothes, do your thing. I ain't tripping about that. That's a different story. But he never laid it out there like that for you to just be taking his money. So you did it, you know, in, in a sneaky fashion. You deserve whatever coming to you straight up. I'm going to make some of you mad real quick. Some. Paying for your man on his birthday when y'all go out to dinner, bare minimum effort. Giving that man some cutty and paying for his meal when y'all go out to dinner is bare minimum effort. Now, for the women that actually like they man, this video not even for you because I already know you going crazy. You've been thinking about his birthday for months on how you going to make it special. This more for the men that are with women that really don't like them and that woman is using them. That woman is using him as a placeholder, probably waiting for an ex or waiting for someone else to start acting right. So, fellas, if that girl don't try to make your birthday special, she really don't like you. Because I want you to think about how women are with their birthday. Some women are with their birthday. They go all out. When it comes to their friend birthday, they go all out. And you telling me she likes you, but the only thing she going to do is give you some cutty, even though you got that the night before, and pay for a $200 meal? okay yeah real talk bro like if she go all out for herself and other people but when it comes time for a special occasion as it relates to you and she don't go out or it's bare minimum effort brother i think that is a pure good sign that she don't really rock with you the way you rock with her or the way you think that she rocks with you bro because listen you going all out for the kids you're going all out for your mama your sister your best friend yourself but when it comes to me you don't do nothing father's day come around boom i don't get nothing but a card but shit Man, listen, that's that's a valid point he brought up right there. Man, I don't know what y'all did to these women, but boy, they getting vicious. Man, I got a homie, he a player, big player. You know what I'm saying? Got got a stable of them at all times, right? He was dealing with this shorty for like the last four months. And he, he bringing her around the guys. Like, 
She cooking all the guys' food. She cleaning up his crib. You know what I'm saying? We calling her sus. He cramming in buns. Like, he buying us shit. He doing shit for her. Like, shit, I ain't never seen this man do for no other woman. He talking about, man, I think she the one. Like, I'm going to keep her around for a little bit, right? Man, tell me why Shorty go to Miami. She with a brother out there who bald. <laughs> I'm talking about this brother balling. She, 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 she living it up out there in Miami. So my man's here to like, yo, what the fuck is this? Like, 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 this what you own now? Like, you know, going at her, like, you know, cause it's supposed to be his little shorty. She hit this brother. You know what she said? She said, I don't even know why you tripping like that. Like, we're not even like that. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Y'all not even like that. He, he, what, what you mean? Uh, we ain't like that. Like, I'm doing all this shit for you. I'm doing all that and all this shit. She talking about, I never told you that I was fucking with you like that. Like, just because you did something for me doesn't mean that we're an item or we go together. Like, I thought we were just friends and kicking it. <laughs> Folks has been crying like a bitch for the last two hours. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, man, that's kind of like back in the day when you'll leave a girl alone and make her think y'all locked in just because y'all, you know, y'all having sex, y'all going on dates, y'all spending time with each other. You done met her mama. You done met her sisters and all that, the family. Y'all going places. And then she got the nerve to think y'all boyfriend and girlfriend. Man, that shit crazy as hell, man. The nerve of her to think that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, listen, now, to say I live in New Orleans, because we have a different culture out here, I'm not going to lie. I would, I would say most men here probably seen their mama twerk once before. I'm not gonna lie to you, man, because at the DJ, you know, especially if your mama of a certain demographic and she grew up in a certain era, especially the bounce era, bro, more than likely, I just seen a lot of my partner's mama twerk. I'm not gonna lie to you at parties, at weddings, and shit like that. I personally never seen my mama twerk ever in her life. I've never seen it, and I'm not saying my mama better or worse. I'm just saying, I'm glad I didn't. Cause I would hate to have to be like that young man. <laughs> man, I feel lied to, lied to by the culture. Uh, but I'm gonna take full responsibility there, man. I fell for it. I fell for the boss bitch, the like, I, I could do everything by myself, that hyper independent bullshit. And I'm 31 now and I still don't have kids. I still don't have a family. I was focused on trying to get after the bag and all this. Yo, what? I'm in a place now in my life where I'm reevaluating everything. My values, my perspectives, what I really want in the future. And what I really want is a family. Is a family. I feel like social media or just everything around us society in general wants to push that women the woman is the future no the family is the future they definitely lied to you man talking about some go ahead out there and work and earn a living when you could have had a man taking care of you you see the problem is the women hit the workforce it is what it is, man. White women started working in droves. And then next thing you know, black women thought they was missing out on something. Black women ain't never had no period in time in America where they didn't have to work. Sorry to break it to you. That's just how it was, man. I've been told y'all this. Do the history. Uh, do your research. Black women always work. Ain't, ain't too many uh, black women was housewives. It is what it is. Statistically speaking, you won't find that. Historically speaking, you won't find that. My mama worked. My grandma worked. Most people work. My grandmother on both sides worked. I'm keeping it real with y'all, man. 
All of this stuff that they be... A girl on Facebook literally just told me that uh, a lot of women when she grew up didn't have to work. Girl, stop the cap. Man, y'all mamas was lunch ladies, the cafeteria women, bus drivers, maids, everything you name. Work at the DMV. What age did you wake up and realize that you no longer wanted to be a strong boy? She pretty much talks about like coming to the realization that she no longer wants to be a strong, independent black woman. I will have to say that it's just now hitting me. I just turned 33 and I will say, I think it's this year that it's really hit me that I do not want the title of a strong, independent black woman, okay? I am a single divorced mom. I have been divorced now for four years, going on five years. So I have been doing this whole thing by myself, literally doing everything, right? For me and my daughter for the past five years. And I will say that Although I am very happy with my life, I pray for a soft life, a life where the financial weight and the financial burden doesn't fall on me. Actually, I don't want a financial burden in our household period, but I really do not want to carry the weight in that capacity at all. I want to be able to live a life of leisure, a soft life, a slow life. Like I <laughs> am so tired and although i do feel like i carry it well like yes you probably can't even tell that i'm tired because i do feel like i carry it well that's not a good thing in itself like i it shouldn't be a badge of honor for me having to go through all these different struggles 